<laughs> oh my god, when this locked. Why is this open now? God damn it. Has some concealer in my makeup bag, maybe I could hide it. Yeah, I was getting all worked up over nothing. It was just a little mark on my face after all. Probably just a result of the stress I've been feeling here. Once things calm down, it will go away for sure. Oh, God. Oh, and I'm 81% darkening. I'm definitely dead. Welcome back. So all it says is, welcome back. Welcome back, you're gonna die here. Do we need to do it, search anything? Or is this, that's it? That it? See why, look, it says it's locked. I'm not supposed to be here. Hmm? It wouldn't open. And it wasn't like it was locked, rather it felt almost as if someone were holding it closed with superhuman strength. Oh. <laughs> Suddenly I realised why the door was wrapped multiple times over with thin black threads. How I had not noticed it this, these a moment ago. You know why? Because the same thing that happened to Naomi is going to happen to you, but the only difference is you're going to die. You're going to die with it. What? <laughs> Damn right it is. Let's say a bit more closely and concluded, without question, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> I found an unpleasant heat radiating along, all along my back muscles across my entire spine. I was being watched. This is some sort of moist, luke, warm presence in the room with me. And slowly but surely, I could sense it moving. I already know what this is. I was too scared to turn around. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that her? It was a little girl wearing a red dress. Probably a first or second grader. Her skin was pale and pot as pottery, contrasting with her liqueur like hair. She would look somehow familiar. Yes, it is. Of course, it can. Oh my god, did you really get... Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a party now, isn't it? Oh, great! Yeah, let's play... Let's play hide and seek. You count, I'll go. Onto the back of my hand. That's <coughs> what so I thought at first, first, anyway. If I started to cry, I wasn't aware, but considering what I was going through, it wouldn't have been surprising in any way. I wonder just how much I cried since getting sealed up in this. Who cares if you've been crying before you got. Oh my god. Probably more than cried in the entire life, okay. But these weren't tears, were they? Was it blood then? Did these children do something to me? Sure enough, I reached up and touched my face, and my finger came in contact with something sticky. Something sticky. Ah! Yeah. What? What? answer was cold and disinterested, and came accompanied with a crook, fry smile. She was just a, a child. Yet yeah, one glance from her made every hair on my body stand. So 
Mr. Crow's face somehow made me feel as if there were, might be two sides to her, one gentle and one not. But regardless of which I was dealing with here, I wasn't about to go against her recommendation. I was legitimately curious myself. So I took out my compact and opened and... <laughs> I can see it with makeup has sprung back back to surface once again though it being hardly called a bruise anymore the skin literally split open from the inside and the blood was beginning to seep out through the pinkish fissure beat by beat wow. お前はその ゆっくりとした散り方で死にやめて。やめて。やめて。This <laughs> Or knew it. Somewhere deep in my pit of my soul, I knew there was no way out. This unimaginably cruel fate was predestined I couldn't escape. Oh sure, I tried to run. I squirmed and resisted with every last bit of strength I had. But fate held me by the ankle and it wasn't about to let and it wasn't about to let go. If only I could force myself to lose consciousness, maybe I could avoid the unbearable agony that I knew was coming. But suddenly I wasn't that strong willed. Oh wow, this is, this is, this is great, great! <coughs> you feel the hands of children all over my body, coming from virtually every direction, and they and they were really digging. Seized with the pain unlike anything I've ever uh, even imagined possible before. I couldn't talk, couldn't move, couldn't even think. It felt like my head was going to explode under the pressure of these, of the millions of nerves, all telling me my brain just how much every part of my body hurt. It didn't stop. Every moment I grew worse and worse. Then I began to drift away. <laughs> So, in these last two games, Mayu and Shig never saw each other while they were in here. Never once. Sure, they did, but only when she was. <laughs> only, when, only when she was completely destroyed against the wall, yeah. That doesn't count. <laughs> I mean, face to face, they never, they never saw each other in these last two games now. Sasuke's voice sounded like it was in the far 
I said it was far in the distance, and then I realized the agony I'd been put, feeling had changed. It was no longer pain, but chill. I didn't hurt anyone. I didn't, oh, I didn't hurt anymore, anyone. I was just cold. So cold that I couldn't, couldn't even feel my body. My final wish is that Shig would be the only one to find my body. As long as it's not too revolting to look at anyway. <laughs> I want him to think that I'm pretty. I miss him. Shig, bro. Well, obviously that's not going to happen. You know, he's going to think, oh my god. Just, oh, this body. Oh, this big oh! Yeah, see, so that's what's going to happen. Then. Yay! Clear chapter, chapter 3. Encounter chapter 3 is now playable. So you can narry and Yusuke Nakamura soulful testimonies unlocked. Okay. Yes, we're definitely gonna save. And that is it for chapter two, everyone. It took about a month to do it. I don't know why. I'm sorry. But it was it's finally done and actually was surprisingly <coughs> surprisingly violent. I mean, chapter one, one wasn't even this bad, but chapter two, I don't know how they're gonna fucking do it worse than this. But we're gonna skip that, then we'll have to come on again. So, I hope you enjoyed chapter two, the rest of chapter two anyway, of Corpse Party, Book of Shadows. I'm hoping to carry on with this series as long with uh, Don Garopa and with the new series, Fallout. I hope you all watch the series. I'm trying to do everything for anyone, like for everyone, I mean. So I'm going to have some Corpse Party and we'll do like one each day. So it'll be like Corpse Party, Dungaropa and Fallout and then we'll go back to Corpse Party and then we'll keep rotating it around. So, <coughs> it's something new each day, you know? So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys join me for Chapter 3 of Corpse Party Bug of Shadows. It's been Phantom Shark here. Peace.